I don't need to show my ugly face or my ugly mug as I usually call it in my gist anymore. This is Bob's shop. This is Bob's shop. Bob has retired. I've seen people come and go. There was a couple there. And I edited the young lady's work for university. Yes, I edited the young young ladies work for university yeah and then these came you can see these are more suited for this business than the two that was there but as i said i supported them throughout editor work and in whatever way i could help i helped so this is what is called generational wealth isn't it bob established his shop i bought newspaper lottery whatever there Bob has since retired, so Bob is my, in my age group. And what has happened to me in this country the past 29 years, soon it will be 30 years. And my brother is telling me, whatever happened, I must accept it. And to now hearing what he said of me. Yeah? When I came here, this was a pub. Yeah? A pub. Some of the changes, as I said, this was Alwyn Girls School. Some of the changes, I've weathered the storm in Alma Grove. I've come here. Yeah, I have issues too with other council, send section and doing. So I'm doing me. That's the bloke down there. I think his name is David. He's always saying hello and having a chat. Sometimes he said to me, there's no agency staff here. Yeah. So this is where I'm not flaming you. I see you have a look on your face. But if you're in public domain, yeah? I don't need, I, anyway, I don't think I need to explain myself anymore. After that letter from Housing for Women. Yeah? And that's why I'm doing what I do. Because I'm tearing down the barriers. When I break them, I tear me, I tear them down now. When I came to this country, they said, Burmans is a racist area. As I keep reiterating, the only racism I experience is from my neighbor Debbie Gilchrist and down by Bird in the Bush where I transferred. Yeah? So this has been home for me since 2000, December. When I moved in, I didn't even have a bed. Tess took me under her wings. Tess was allowed to die on the floor. My husband who attacked me yesterday stood at the window and cried and asked me to get help for Tess. Social services made an ass of themselves. And then when Tess died, I saw police came and it resonated with me what my mother said. Government don't want to know how you live, but government want to know how you die. And that's why some idiot, Samantha Gibbs, is gonna send me a letter. Well, I'm home, this is where I live, yeah? This is where I live since December 2000 and nobody's going to run me out here. So Samantha Gibbs, there won't be a telephone meeting. You're going to come and visit here and have this meeting here and bring your recorders and bring your TV crew and do whatever. Bring it on, Samantha Gibbs, you racist bigot. I have the letter indoors.